Welcome to our next tutorial of Mesh to Surface for SolidWorks. Once you have the add-in installed, you can actually start bringing your Mesh files for reverse engineering. Although SolidWorks supports import of STL meshes, for the purposes of processing, we bring the STL files into our own structure and using our import mesh command in mesh service command bar. You just press import mesh and you can load the scan data saved as an STL file format. We also support OBJ and PLY. Just select the STL file and press open. Because STL doesn't have any information about the unit, you need to specify what are the units of the measured data stored in this file. Also, because SOLIDWORKS has a different understanding of what is up and from, there is an option to rotate the part to be in the correct orientation in SOLIDWORKS. If you're ready, you can press OK and you can see the mesh that it appears on the screen. It's just like a normal entity in the feature tree of SOLIDWORKS, you can use the standard buttons to rotate and navigate the object on the screen. You can place the view in the standard uh, view position. Also, you can bring other meshes into this document. I'll just load a bit bigger file. The size of meshes we support is not limited. The only limitation you have is from your memory. Despite this, we need to be careful on how big meshes you can import. At any point when you bring in a mesh, you can just select the button called Mesh Info that will display a dialog showing you the dimensions of the, um, of the object, also the number of points and number of triangles. Again, you can rotate this on the screen. You can also file and save this document as a normal path that will store the data in the disk. So later when you open, all the meshes will appear. Because these are normal entities, you can just select an entity and there is a button which allows you to show or hide the mesh if you don't need it at this moment. You can just hide this mesh also. As you can see, when you rotate, if the mesh is too large, the software automatically switches to a shaded points mode, so you can allow easily to rotate a big STL files without problems. This is all for now how to bring in the meshes for reverse engineering into the SOLIDWORKS through our add-in mesh to surface.